Hi everyone, today I have my August favorites. I can't believe, you know what, I'm not even gonna say it because you guys are gonna be like, you always say it. But yeah, August is over. Today is September 2nd. I had a really busy week, so the videos are a little bit late. But I wanted to do my August favorites because I do have a lot of things that I've been loving this um month and that i want to talk about is my hair i made it a little bit more like ashy because i dyed my hair maybe like last month and i added more highlights but they were still really brassy and kind of like warm and i like a more cool tone so i added more sort of a cool tone um ash color to my hair and i love it i love the way my hair looks this time around i didn't cut my hair it is getting longer uh it used to be maybe like a scroll maybe like an inch or two I'm not sure if I want to let it grow or if I want to keep it short. Maybe let it grow for the winter because it does get cold here and I feel like my hair helps me with the cold <laughs> and just when it's really, really cold, it covers my neck. But, you know, maybe I'll, cu I'll cut it. We'll see. We'll see. But I really do like my hair color. So that is my first favorite of the month. Favorite. Now, I want to talk about skincare because... I've been really consistent with these four products. These three I've had for maybe like two weeks and I feel like this has really helped me a lot. Like I said earlier, my pimples on my cheeks have disappeared. They're very little, they're smaller, um, they're less noticeable. The, the pimples I had on my forehead are really pretty much gone. The texture of my skin has improved a lot. So I'm really excited and really happy and I think the reason why it has improved so much is because of these three products. Now, I made a video uh, about this product. This was sent to me by Aland, which is a South Korean brand or a South Korean store, and they carry a lot of different brands. One of the brands that they carry is the... Um, I forget the name, so I'll put it right here. I think it's something... A forest? You know, I'm just making things up right now. So I'll put the name of the brand, but I've been really consistent. As you can see, the toner I've used... Um, every night and you can see I've used it a little bit because it, it came all the way filled all the way to the top First step in my skincare at night and during the day I use this toner and I just use a cotton ball Sometimes I just use my fingers my fingers of course are clean This has helped me a lot um, and I feel like this has improved my texture like it has shrunk the pores and just help even out my skin overall so i really love this the second thing i use in my nighttime skincare routine is the essence this is more of a cream uh, which is really enriched with a lot of great ingredients and i really love this i think this has also helped my skin and it also kind of firms like once i put this my skin kind of feels a little bit more firm which is really good it has a lot of anti-aging properties which i really like so i would really recommend this the third thing i use at night is my cream now sometimes i do skip my uh my eye cream but i just kind of put this all over including like the area of my eye and it hasn't um you know made my skin um break out or anything like that so i really like this this is just a white thick cream that i use and i just put this all over my face and i really really like these three steps i actually use these three steps in the morning and at night um and I, I might add like another mask, I might put my eye cream, but I've been really consistent with these three products and I really, really love these products. I think it has helped, me, helped my skin. Like I said, I've been breaking out on my chin, but that's normal because I just had my period, so that's kind of like a normal breakout. But I really love those products and I know that South Korean brands or just uh, Asian products are really good in anti-aging, really good ingredients, so... I love it. Another thing that I've been loving, and this has been popular by a lot of YouTubers because L'Oreal sent them the, they had three different masks, but I only bought this one. This is a new pure clay mask, and this is the Argyle Pure by L'Oreal. You know you're a YouTuber when you keep empty boxes just so that you can read, you know, what's it, what, it, what it's for and stuff for YouTube, but yeah, so as you can see, it came in this box, and right here, it gives you the three different colors. I chose the orange one. The green one is to purify and mattify, which I don't really need because I don't have oily skin. The black one is to detox and brighten, and which, I mean, I kind of need it, but I already have other black masks that do that. The orange one, the one that I have, is to exfoliate and refine treatment mask. It says, draw out buildup of impurities, dirt, and oils. It tightens your pores, it unclogs your pores, it exfoliates, 
dead skin cells and smooth imperfections and it also refreshes and allows skin to breathe so I wanted to try this because I do have a lot of buildup on my chin and I wanted that to be taken out. And I think that's also why I broke out a little because it's kind of like taking out all of the dirtness and the buildup. Um, and yeah, and it exfoliates as well, which is really good when you have blemishes. You want to kind of exfoliate because that kind of gets rid of the, you know, like the pimple and the scar a lot faster. If you guys want to see my skincare routine, let me know in the comments below. I think I might do that and show you guys all of the products that I use in the day and during the night. But those are all the things that I've been using consistently for the past maybe two, two to three weeks. So love it before i move on to makeup let's start with a nail polish one of the things that i received in the pinch me box uh subscription is the sinful shine top coat and oh my god this is one of the best top coats i have tried this is my third time wearing the top coat and i'm wearing an essie nail polish i couldn't wear this nail polish for more than a day because it would chip really badly i've had this already for maybe four days and the it looks really really good I have a really nice kind of like lavender purple but any nail polish junkie will tell you that essence nail polishes do not last if you don't wear a top coat and even if you wear a top coat it just chips really quickly like the whole thing I would even wear a top coat like the Sesh Vite uh, top coat but then the whole thing will come out and I was just like no I can't do this this right here does not chip I've had this for more than four days I think maybe five days because today is Friday so yeah it's just the best top coat it's just it comes in a black bottle and it's just a clear uh, top coat and it gives you a really nice shine I cut my nails because they were super long and I don't like my nails really long I just like them really short so I would really really recommend this this is a great inexpensive top, top coat that you can find anywhere, Walgreens, Target, pretty much any drugstore. So I would really recommend this. If you're into nail polishes and you like to put on nail polishes almost every week a different color like I do, then I would really recommend this. And I'm so glad that I was able to try this in my Pinch Me box. Uh, another of my favorites has to be a new eyelash curler. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. I bought this recently, so maybe like two weeks ago as well. This is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler, and it came in this box, and I also kept it so you guys can see it. It came with an extra little like rubber thing that you apply in the eyelash curler. This was $19. I got this from Nordstrom Rack. I honestly don't know if it's the same price or if it's a little bit cheaper because it's Nordstrom Rack. I think it's the same price. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it just came in this like red and black box. It's like a chrome color instead of their silver eyelash curler. But I love this eyelash curler. I had my e.l.f. eyelash curler for years and I love it. And then it broke and then I bought one from Walgreens. I don't remember the brand, but it didn't really curl my eyelashes. I just didn't like it. I love this one because it grabs all of my eyelashes and it curls my eyelashes so much better. And I feel like my eyelashes are more curved and more, you know, they just look longer. And when I apply my mascara, it just looks a lot better. So if you're in the market for a eyelash curler, I would really recommend Shiseido. I know back in the day, this was like a really popular eyelash curler and I think it still is. It's just one tool that you don't really have to buy all the time so people don't really talk about it. But because I needed to buy one, I decided to try the Shiseido. This is my first time trying it and I know what the hype is about now because this is a great tool. The last two things, of course, have to be lipstick. I've been into darker lipsticks because even though today is actually really nice today is 70 degrees so fall is coming i'm really excited um and i've been using more darker colors because i just can't wait to wear darker colors i am wearing a light one right now because that's where i wore today but i've been into my oldie but goodie this is a maybelline creamy matte lipstick this is in the color tote I was gonna say Touch of Spice, Touch of Spice 660. This is a really classic, uh, kind of like your neutral dark lipstick, and it's just a beautiful color. Every time I wear it, I just love the way it looks on my lips, on my complexion, and it's just a really beautiful, kind of like, I don't know, like a really nice nude, dark nude. Um, and it smells delicious as well. So I really love these. I need to buy more of these because I have maybe like three lipsticks by this range from Maybelline and I love it. So I need to get like a nude one and a darker one for the fall. So 
Really recommend this if you are looking for lipsticks for the fall. Another of my favorites that I've been using is uh, one that I also received by Aland. And this is from the brand, I think it's called, I think it's Be Me or Be Makeup. This is a get your lip crayon in bad girl number three. So as you can see, it gives you the color, which is a really beautiful kind of like burgundy, you know, darker red. And these are really pigmented, really matte and creamy, as you can see. It's kind of similar, but... This one right here, Bad Girl, is a little bit more burgundy and this is more of your neutral color. Love this because it lasts a long time on my lips. The same as the first one, the Touch of Spice. Um, I like to drink coffee, I like to drink tea, I like to drink water all the time. So I'm constantly like, you know, applying water to my lips or just like a liquid to my lips and these last me a long time this one stains my lips and it leaves me a really nice stain so that's why i like it a lot i also got two other colors but i've been using this a lot and i gave the red one to my mom because she uses red lips all the time so i also like it because it's in a pencil form so it's really easy to reapply because i always reapply my lipstick after lunch and just really quickly in the bathroom or you know just when i'm sitting where i'm eating so it's just really easy and travel friendly. Those are all of the things that I enjoy this month. Now we're gonna move on to, of course, music and shows because you guys know I always like to recommend those two things to you guys. First of all, I recommended one last month, which was uh, the night of. And you know, after watching, I finished watching the whole season. It was just eight episodes. I honestly did not like the timeline of the show. I think a lot of things were rushed and not really explained thoroughly especially um the main character just like his change was just too drastic for me i mean it's not like i don't like you know that kind of change from a main character but i think it was made really really quickly so i don't know if you guys watch it let me know in the comments below or i don't want to spoil anything so just let me know if you guys know what i'm talking about and you guys agree and also, uh, I mean, the whole trial part was just like really, I don't know. I mean, like I know what really a trial is and how it goes. And it was just like, I would still recommend it if you're into those kind of shows. But now a different show, one that is amazing and it's really, 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 really good. And I already saw two seasons so I can kind of tell you like my honest review and opinion this show just gets better and better and i love it this is i'm gonna tell you the name because you guys are probably like what is she talking about this one's called the orphan black and this is a bbc series so i watch it on amazon prime if you have amazon prime you have the first three seasons for free if you have amazon prime and oh my god it is amazing i love the main character she is bomb she's a great actress and she's just a chameleon like she can transform into transform anything into anyone and you kind of forget that she is the same person and she's just you know acting in different roles but i don't want to spoil a lot of things but i'm gonna say a, a few things about the first episode so this girl she lives in canada and she was an orphan she was of course um adopted by a woman and she kind of had like a rough life so she was you know a, you know a troubled kid um and one day she is on the train station and she's waiting for the train or like walking and waiting for the train and then she sees some girl that looks exactly like her and she's like what the hell is she my twin who is she and something happens right away in the first episode that I don't want to spoil it because when I watched it, I was like, holy crap. So I don't want to spoil that feeling because I really enjoy not knowing that. So she kind of like in later episodes, she's trying to see like, who is this woman? Who is this person that looks like me? Is she my twin? Where did she come from? How come I didn't know about her? Cliffhangers and cliffhangers everywhere. <laughs> so... I really love that show. I give it a five stars out of five. Amazing cast, funny, entertaining. It's just really, really good. And it's it's a sci-fi show. So if you're not into science fiction, I would I would consider this a it is a science fiction, but it's really, really good. It's 
it catches my attention and I didn't think that I would like sort of like a science fiction type of show and I do so if you are kind of like uh, I don't know it's a science fiction don't give up on the show try it watch the first episode and I promise you that you will love this show the main character her name is Sarah <laughs> just wanted to you know put that out there because sometimes I don't give names um, but I forget her the like the actress name but she's really really good and I would really recommend it if there's any show that I've been like talking about for the past I don't know a couple of months this one is something that you need to watch so I would really recommend it now for music I have a lot and because probably this video is already super long I'm going to quickly talk about these now the first one is of course Frank Ocean his new album blonde I'm not gonna show you or play all the musics because well this will just take too long but I wrote down sort of my favorite ones Ivy uh, Y Ferrari solo close to you good guy this is Y Ferrari Man on the road, so I text the speech less the speeds text the speed yes. Well, that's why Ferrari. I also want to play Ivy because I really like Ivy as well. I also like this new artist, well, new to me. His name is Amine, and his song Caroline is really, really funny, so I really like it. So let's play it so you guys can hear it. Uh, I also like... Jacoy, I think that's how you say his name and the song that I really like is called Odd Future It's a really good song as well. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's like a more of a chill song at the very beginning The last song is by Shakira. I've been listening to her again. Um, I go through phases where I listen to her music, like her old school songs, all the time. And it just hits me right here, right in the heart. I just love all of her songs. I think she's an amazing singer. Her voice is amazing. Um, so I've been listening to En Tus Pupilas again. And I just really like it. So... Um, kind of like during my commute when I'm like reading and just listening to music I listen to Shakira because her music's kind of more mellow uh, In Tus Pupilas is one of my favorites because well If you guys listen to the lyrics, it's 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 you know, it's good So that is the last song. I know I've been everywhere with the music, but I really, really love her and I just really like that song. Well, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of the things I showed are also your favorites or if you have any favorites this month, let me know in the comments below so I can also try it out or them out if it's more than one. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon with a haul because I've been doing a lot of shopping. So... A clothing haul is coming your way next. <laughs> See you guys. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be announcing the winner of my giveaway. I was giving away the Target Beauty box for August and yeah, it's just a short